17 News sat down with a, for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the woman who police say was behind the wheel in that accident. 17's Maddie Gannon joining us now live from Kern County Jail in downtown Bakersfield with more on that part of the story. Maddie? Jim, just a few hours ago, I sat down with Lisa Kaur in a chilly room in the downtown jailhouse. She was handcuffed, sitting in a wheelchair with a cast on her leg. There were two sheriff deputies in the room because as of Wednesday, she's an accused murderer. 46-year-old Lisa Kaur says she was driving home on Panama Lane after picking up her prescription medication on Wednesday. The next thing she remembers is being pulled from her smash car and taken to the hospital. That's when she heard what happened. Because they wanted to send me to another hospital and I said I don't want to go to another hospital, I just want to go home. And the officer said, you killed two people. <laughs> that was the first time I ever heard of it. I thought he was lying to me. She's a chronic drunken driver, but now the mom of two is facing two counts of murder for drifting through multiple lanes of traffic, plowing onto the sidewalk, and killing a brother and sister Wednesday. Bakersfield police say Cor was under the influence. She says something else. I didn't know that I had a seizure. <laughs> because I do have seizures. I wasn't under the influence. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't... I don't drink. But according to court records, this isn't the first time Cora has been accused of taking the wheel while intoxicated. She has two previous convictions for driving under the influence in 2009 and 2013. Cora admits to those charges, saying she drank to cope with anxiety, depression, and PTSD from abuse. But about eight months ago, she says that all changed. I went to a psychiatric hospital, um, got, my, got the help I needed there. Cor says the hospital prescribed her multiple different types of medication. That's what she says stopped her drinking. And that's what she was picking up minutes before the fatal crash. I'm so sorry to the parents. <laughs> I wish I could give my life back for theirs. <laughs> Core is due in court Friday at 3 p.m. for her formal arraignment. You can see my full interview with her on our website at kget.com. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.